Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 69, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We've been working through the bonus content that is available in the Steam version of the game. It's the um, uh, the the Lost Lost Sanctum. Yeah, uh, sorry. I've got a new monitor set up, which is great, except all my markers are in different places now. <laughs> so, so all all my signals are in different places, and I just realized that I forgot to pull up uh, one of the references and a few other things. So, I guess it's that kind of that kind of start to the day, huh? All right. That going there. There we go. Law Sanctum and uh, so the last the last thing we did is we helped out the lonely soul that knew that uh, needed a little bit of help and love and attention. And now it's time to get down to the last two, three. Yeah, the last three quests and. Oh, no, stop. Just stop. My computer's been extra special the last couple of days. That has also been part of the <laughs> part of it. Uh okay. So, where were we? We are getting ready to do the last of the three bonus quests. Um while I figure out how to rearrange everything on my desk. <laughs> Still, still not, not, still not entirely sure I got the camera in the right spot too when I installed the uh, fourth monitor. All right, so we need to go over to 600 AD to start the next quest, uh, because, oh, yep, I would like to leave. Although that's the first time that asked, I thought, I think. Oh, I also thought it, and I still think it. Oh, we are in 600 AD. It's almost like I knew I needed to start up there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. As uh, as it has been for a great many people, the week's been a little bit crazy for just about everybody. All right, so. We need to go find the builder. <laughs> Were I as strong as you, I'd become an explorer. But I'm not, so I have to make do with exploring close to home. Oh, do you still sell stuff? Oh, if you ever happen to find some lumosite, would you bring it to me? I'll craft you some fine armor from it. I've been a smith for a great many years. Well, smith, open up your shop. No? Okay. If there's anything I can ever do to help you or that fellow out, please don't hesitate to ask. That might be important a little bit later. What I'm trying to find is the guy who wants to build a bridge. I love to build things. I want to make something that will last for centuries to come. Nope. That neighbor of mine loves to build things almost as much as he loves to tell me about it. Hasn't he anyone else to bother all day? Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> ah, here we go. It's been my lifelong dream to build a great bridge to span the mountains. Unfortunately, I've had no luck acquiring the tools I'd need for such a task. To build the frame, I need sturdy lumber. To reinforce the structure, I'll need strong metal. To nail it all together, I'll need a durable hammer. If only we knew somebody that had a durable hammer. If you happen to come across anything you think I could use, would you bring it to me? It would be enormously helpful. Agree to look for building materials? Why, yes, of course I agree to this new quest. Oh, thank you. I'll be waiting here. If you could bring me each of those three things, it would mean the world to me. Oh. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to get the steel ingot, and that is over in the southern glade somewhere. Uh, since everything we've done so far has been to the east, this is probably going to be to the west. I nope. Excuse me, do you have any iron laying about? No. Come on, let's get past the frog. Oh, that's right. This guy's always going to give us a fight because... Why not? If I remember right, though, we should be able to... Oh. 
We forgot to sleep, so that way Magus could get his uh, health back. All right. We'll take care of that soon enough. Uh, well, we're not going to finish him off with regular attacks like that now, are we? There we go. Frog knows how to get it done. All right. Come on. Finish him. Good. All right. Let's get on our way. Poor Chrono. He's lost a lot of magic points from that kind of stuff. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, nothing there. Are, are you guys? No, you're not going to let us just wander about. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to play. So let's just go with the nuclear option and uh, finish this off quick, like. Seriously? Um, I... No, Mr. Reptate, I expected you to die. Okay. I don't know where that came from. That's okay. We got some gold and some XP out of it, which is always helpful. Oh, let's leave the little frog to do his thing. Uh, there's supposed to be. There we go. Eve. And we're going to have to fight the bats, aren't we? Whether we want to or not. Alrighty then. Same deal. Nuke them till they glow and shoot them in the dark. That is how this works, unless you're in Fallout, right? There we go. 800 XP. Is it? No gold? Although, I'd be kind of worried about why a bat has gold. I really shouldn't, but I'm curious what they're doing here. Because it looks like they're actually doing something. Alright, let's uh, just douse them in shadow magic and... Douse them in shadow magic? Eh, okay. I guess we can go with that. A little bit of XP, a lot of bit of gold. Oh, seriously? Then we're doing anything useful? Aw. Oh, that's not creepy. Alright, there's some way to get down there. I'm sorry, your entrance is in another location. Or is it through that cave? Alright, let's do this first. Um, oh, I didn't want all of you. Just the guy on the pedestal. Let's do it this way. Then maybe we'll take a moment to heal up. The Magus is looking a little uh, worse for wear at the moment. Oh. Well, that healed them. What are you... Oh. Alright, so these guys are probably going to be physical damage only. Because uh, the shadow magic healed them. Oh, no. They're rolling over the lightning. Okay, then. That works. I'll take it. And, uh, let's let Frog do his thing. Everybody needs a little bit. And Magus needs a little bit more. Beautiful. Ooh. Alright, so there, there's the steel ingot that we came in here for. Because he, he said he needed steel, hammer, and lumber. Curious, what else is in here? Something. Oh, okay. There's stairs. That's probably something in the. 
That's probably something in the past, isn't it? But we're we're going to have to do this all forward and back and forward and back. And I have it on pretty good authority that we're going to be hiking up and down that mountain a few times today, too. Oh, joy. Get the hiking boots on. All right. Let's just uh, wipe them out with the biggest, baddest, everything we got and uh, be about our business. Yeah. Finish off this coffee while it's still warm. And there we go. Alright. Um, I still wonder. There's got to be a way to get down down there somehow. Is there like a hidden... Hidden something along this wall? I feel like there should be a hidden something along this wall. Or is this going to be another one of those... Uh, it'll either come as a part of another quest or... Uh, Okay. Well, there is at least one. Oh. All that for a turbo ether. Alright, so that tells me there are more of those little hidden passageways. So where is the one into the sky? Oh, there it is. For a lapis. I don't know that I'd call that worthwhile, but I'll, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say no. All right, so we got the steel ingot that the guy needs. Now we need to go get him a hammer and some lumber. Oh, and we got to go fight a rat. I know it's overkill, but, uh, yeah. I want this done quick. I mean, is there really such a thing as overkill? Alright, there's our XP for that. We'll pass the dancing frog by. Now we need a hammer and some lumber. If you remember from last week, we did the quest that grew the special tree, which netted us a hammer. Would you like to leave? Why, yes. Yes, I would. Which netted us a hammer and a special tree. Um, the tree doesn't exist in 600 AD because it was cut down to make the hammer. So everything we need is going to be over in prehistory. So let's go back. Back to prehistory. Go forward to go back to go forward to go back. Come on, land. And we can now go to yep. go talk to the guy that we got the hammer and see if we can borrow it. What? You need to borrow the golden hammer? Alright, I'm not using it at the moment. And I did receive it from you, after all. Here you, here you go. Yay, we re-obtained the golden hammer. I, thought, I would have thought it would have lasted into the, <laughs> into the future, but okay. Oh, and before I forget, let's um, let's take a quick nap. Get everybody's everything back up to snuff. And now let's go about getting lumber. So we've got to go back into the Millennia Woods. There used to be an enormous tree. Oh. You need lumber to build a bridge? Well, I'd much rather see that tree used than let it go to waste. Wait right here. I'll saw some wood for you. Oh, how convenient. I thought we were going to have to go hunt down the, uh, the actual location of the old tree. Okay, here you go. I'm sure it will serve well. There we go. Oh, that's... That's easier than I thought it was going to be. 
Hmm. Okay, then. That's right. He's the guy that has the market, and he doesn't have anything worth buying at this particular juncture. Or anything worth me buying at this particular juncture. Although it may change when I go to dump all my money into items before <sighs> taking on Lavos again. Alright. Oh, wrong button. One of these will get, let me get back to the Middle Ages. To the medieval times. Alright. Now let's go find the builder. Ah, that wood should do quite nicely for the lumber. Dear me, that golden hammer is glorious. That should serve, spend, serve splendidly. Oh, I ought to be able to use that steel ingot for the metal I need. One ingot? For a bridge? How big is this bridge? My thanks, with all this I should be able to make the bridge of my dreams a reality. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. Obtained a haystone. Okay. Well then, off to the mountains I go. Now, here's the funny thing. Um, so he's going to leave and never come back. So you're gonna leave and come back, and he's he he's uh he's he gone. What we need to do is head back out so we can leave this place and do two things: uh, leave the area to trigger the next part of the quest. And we need to save because you know we made progress and stuff. And now what we need to do is we need to go save him, which you can't do unless you have already done the quest with the new. So that Lonely Souls quest that we finished up last week, you have to finish that before you can finish this quest. There is no getting around that. It just will be that way, period, full stop. All right, let's get the mandatory fight out of the way real quick. Seriously? How do the rats get the jump on me this time? Most of the time, uh... All right. There we go. Now we get to climb up, up the mountain. I believe Chrono and crew are about to get their 10,000 steps a day in for this one. Let's skip the fights we can, just in the interest of time, because we're already 18 minutes in. And I kind of messed up a little bit with uh, some, of the, some of the problems with the start. Oh, fine. Hi, guys. all we needed to do. I can't remember if these guys were immune to magic or not. I know there's a couple of critters up here that are. Nope, they're not immune. <laughs> at least, at least they're not immune to shadow magic. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. Up and up we go. Do, 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 do. Manama. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I'm over the hill and <laughs> under the hill and over the hills I've come. It is National Tolkien Month or something weird like that. So you're supposed to read a Tolkien book or something. It has been a while since I've read the book. And if you're uh, in an area that is in stay-at-home or uh, 
quarantine, now might be a good time to binge the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And wish that they made a Hobbit trilogy. Because we're going to ignore the Hobbit trilogy that was actually made. I, I, li I, like, I like my fantasy a little bit better than that. Especially if it's closer to the source material. Alright, some XP, some gold, and Chrono got a level out of this. That is one of the nice things about doing the side quests. I know some people like to do these before you get Chrono back, although it is nice to have him leveled as well. Look, a bridge. Um, dude. Do I not need to... I thought I needed to go to the other side of that. Go to Mount Emerald and speak to the new. Don't, don't tell me I needed to... Oh, did I need to talk to the guy saying that he didn't come back? Um... Dude. According to the strategy guide, you're supposed to move. I'm gonna have to make an extra trip up and down the mountain. Here we go. These were the guys that were immune to magic, in case you're wondering why I am uh, taking the extra time for physical attacks. I probably should have taken somebody that hit all of them with the single, or with the double tech or something along those lines. Uh, maybe I'll, maybe Frog and Chrono have something just, just for that occasion. Although I think all the double techs that they have are either magical or they only work on a single enemy. I'd probably have to get uh, Ayla in instead of Frog. That way with the uh, Falcon Strike we could hit all three of them in one shot. Although Chrono's got some single techs that might do the job too. I don't know if they'd hit everybody in that lineup though. Oops, wrong way. To the left, to the right. Yeah, we're going to get our steps in this week. Oh, come on, man. I was almost through. And that should do it. I want to spread the uh, magic usage out. Beautiful. Beautiful. And around and around we go. Oop, wrong ladder. Let's do the one that actually works. Alright. Almost back. Seriously, guys. Finish this pretty quick. So far, so good. Now let's skip the frog. Am I in the right age? My neighbor has been working on building that bridge, but lately he hasn't even been coming home. I don't suppose you could go and make sure he's alright, could you? It's not like him at all to be gone this long. He always used to return at night. Now we'll be able to talk to the new and move the thing. So, 
With that, uh, given that we're already 25 minutes in, I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to the credits here and say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There is a link in the description below. And if you haven't already, follow in Twitch to get notified when I go live and definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, I do have that Mixer channel still, but um, today's the last, as I'm recording this, today's the last day I'm going to use it as a primary channel simulcasting, uh, after which uh, I'm just going to keep it as a backup. So uh, keep that in mind. And live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.